The number of students who have any kind of experience with tools is probably maybe one or two every few semesters. You know, most of them come in without any experience at all. So pretty much within the, the first week of the program is just really about introducing them to the tools and shop safety and just going through every basic tool we have here and giving a demonstration on what it's for, how it's used, and reinforcing how to safely use it. So much of, of what we think about here every day is about the way that we're helping to build the kids and we're trying to formalize some of the skills that they're actually getting to say, well, no matter what, we also are doing these skills. And one of the things that we're really a big focus is if you're trying to get a plank out for a boat, just the process of having a curved line that you have to to make and then rough that out and then take that to the bench and use a hand plane to take that down to the line and square that up, use a combination square. That process right there is probably one of the biggest things. Tools such as even the table saw, you know, the adjustments are basically made to just tune up the machine every once in a while, but then you're just raising and lowering the blade and setting the width and that's about it. But you know, with a hand plane that it takes several years before the kids really get comfortable doing that. Just even learning how to sharpen it. That's where I think that, you know, you can use a table saw all day and it's not any different if you're running a piece of wood through it or running a piece of plexiglass through it. It just smells different. But with a hand plane, like that's where you discover wood grain and, and you see that it's irregular and that that you can't adjust the hand plane and go. You have to fine tune it, you have to make it more aggressive, you have to skew it, you have to do all these little finicky things to it to get the sense of the material that you're working with. So yeah, exactly the same way with a chisel. If you're using a chisel a lot of times, you're doing something that there's not really an equivalent machine way to do it. Yeah, when you cut a stem rabbit, it is a constantly changing bevel. You know, it'd be such a complicated machine just the jig that you'd have to make to do the rotating, it's fairly complex. Within building a wooden bow, there's correct changes for every boat you build, every process you do, but there is kind of a correct to the boat. And that's all about just the way the shape looks. And there's just such an artistic element that you're working with to try to make things look good and to try to make shapes fair and smooth and have good curvature. That is also one of the things, too, that is sort of teaching that skill and to teach, teach that to the young people who are here, to be able to just look at things and to be able to pick out an irregularity, be able to pick out where something needs to be pushed out or pulled in or, or something like that. And because it's not something that can be defined with having a flat surface, you know, and having this, the table is flat this whole way across. Every piece that you put on the boat is gonna be a curve pretty much, so it comes into play with everything that you're doing. You know, it definitely is something really useful and something to help be able to see when um, a lot of the joinery that's happening, to see that it needs to look good, it needs to have some kind of shape, and it needs to come in at a certain angle that's dictated by the whole rest of the shape but then it needs to fit into something sort of precisely. Within boat building, so much of that carpentry and those, those joints are really tough to see. One of the things I think that's interesting within boats is being able to just work towards something that you can't necessarily imagine 100% in your head, like this is gonna be like this, that you have to start doing it and you have to start sort of removing material a little bit to even get it to where you're beginning to see like, oh, okay. I can see how this angle is going to need to reflect what's there. Working in that as a medium, you have to become attuned to the process that way that, that is not going to be straightforward, that's not going to be something that you can describe and, and that's the way it is. And, and the great thing within the apprentice program is being able to work with the kids on an advanced level where you can go and say like, this is what we're doing, this is what we're trying to achieve. and some of the things you're going to have to watch out for are the way that this feels, the way that the wood's going to react to doing this, and you have to just focus and 
kind of get into that process. It's not something that I can say, you do it like this. So you have to really become kind of attuned to it.